Hello, thanks for joining us as we talk about the definition of disability when it comes to different types of disability income plans. When shopping for physician disability income protection, a top consideration is how is disability defined in the policy you choose? Following a disabling event, the filing of a claim starts an elimination or qualifying period. Some policies require you to not work in your specialty during the elimination period. Other policies require that you not work at all during the elimination period. Once this period has ended, disability benefits may begin. What this means in terms of benefits depends on how your policy defines disability. With an any occupation policy, the definition of disability means you qualify for benefits if you are unable to work in any occupation. A modified own occupation policy will pay benefits if you are unable to work in your own medical specialty and are not working in another occupation. Coverage often offers residual benefits if you return to work in another field of medicine and suffer a loss of income. A true own occupation definition of disability will pay full benefits if you are unable to work in your medical specialty and you choose to return to work in another occupation, even if you suffer no loss of income. Let's break those down. With any occupation disability income protection, you will be considered disabled only if you are unable to work in any field for which you are qualified based upon your education. But what if you can work in an area other than your specialty? If you can work in another field of medicine, you will not receive benefits under an any occupation policy. For example, a surgeon who injured their hands would not receive benefits if they could still work as a doctor in the medical field, but not as a surgeon. Let's look at own occupation coverage. Modified own occupation coverage pays full benefits when you are unable to work in your own medical specialty. It pays partial benefits when you work in another field or return to work in your specialty. It protects against loss of income. Modified own occupation coverage is intended to make your income whole when added to other earnings. It is a more affordable way to protect income earned in your specialty only and it protects your current earnings. Here's an illustration of how modified own occupation coverage works. Let's say an internist develops debilitating arthritis. The doctor's plan has a $9,000 monthly benefit with an elimination period of three months. If five months after diagnosis, this same physician begins teaching at a local medical school for $4,000 per month, will the plan pay benefits? The answer is yes. Once the three-month elimination period is satisfied, the $9,000 monthly benefit begins in the fourth month. Note that if the internist reviewed medical records in month two for his practice and the elimination period required no work, they would not qualify for any benefits. To continue with this example, let's ask another question. Would our internist continue to receive benefits after starting to teach at the local medical school in month five? The answer is yes. The internist would receive residual benefits, a percentage of the full benefit designed to cover lost income. In our internist case, it looks like this. Disability coverage is designed to cover two-thirds of former income. The $9,000 benefit the internist receives is two-thirds of $13,500, which was the internist's monthly income prior to injury. Monthly pay at the local medical school is $4,000. That means the internist's lost monthly income is $9,500 per month, $13,500 former income minus $4,000 current income equals $9,500. If the formula for determining residual benefit is loss of average monthly income, or $9,500, divided by average monthly income before a disabling incident, or $13,500, times the monthly benefit amount from the disability plan, or $9,000, then that comes to $6,333 residual benefit paid. So how does a true own occupation disability plan work? True own occupation coverage pays full benefits when you are unable to work in your medical specialty, pays full benefits when you work in another field, and pays partial benefits when you return to work in your specialty. It is designed to make your income whole while also allowing for other earnings. Finally, true own occupation coverage is a more expensive and comprehensive coverage designed to protect your income you made in your specialty while allowing for other earned income. Here's an example of how true own occupation coverage works. An orthosurgeon injures a hand in a bicycle accident. 
The surgeon has a plan with a $10,000 monthly benefit and a true own occupation definition, and with an elimination period of six months. Four months after the accident, the doctor begins teaching at a local medical school and earns $5,000 per month from the school. After six months, will the surgeon receive benefits from the disability plan? If so, how much? The answer is probably no. The surgeon must first satisfy the elimination period and in many plans may not be engaged in another occupation during that six month period. There are some individual disability insurance IDI plans that allow for part-time work during the elimination period. Such plans can be typically hard to find and expensive. But if the surgeon starts teaching at the local medical school nine months after the accident, will the plan pay benefits? If so, how much? The answer to that is yes. The surgeon will receive full benefits even while engaged in another occupation because the elimination period of six months was satisfied before the surgeon began working. It's important to weigh costs and benefits of different policies over the course of your career to find the best coverage as your circumstances change. An insurance specialist familiar with physician disability income needs can help you build a portfolio in line with your current career stage and personal financial goals and circumstances. Thanks for joining us on this walk through the different definitions of disability in disability income protection policies. Contact one of our insurance specialists to learn more by emailing team at amainsure.com or calling 888-627-5902. AMA Insurance is coverage for your financial well-being.